Tibetan shaman wearing a skull mask. Wearing a mask. What the hell? No. No, I don't. No, I, no, I don't. Yeah, yeah, no. If that thing, if, if he came running at me wearing that at two o'clock in the morning, it would end either with a lot of casings on the ground uh, or me two miles away needing a new pair of pants. A convening of birds. I don't like it. You don't like it because they're spaced out like barcodes or packets or coded messages to the others. Don't worry. They're not here from Desert Bluffs. Just worry the normal amount. And now the weather. This nightmare at my local PBS station. <laughs> Good lord. He looks like a Monday. <laughs> Why is he wearing a dress? Why is he wearing a Wizard of Oz Dorothy dress? What in the goddamn hell? Oh my god. That's not Big Bird. That's an oversized breadstick they stuffed into a dress, stapled a beak onto, and like gave it just enough, enough sentience to stand on its own. It moves around at night. Abandoned real estate in Poland. Finally, a solution to the affordable housing crisis. Ghost buildings that totally aren't already lived in. If you're non-corporeal, do you pay rent? Actress Faye Dunaway, 1968. It's a legs with a heads. She looks like AI tried to draw her. Actually, honestly, I'm sure there are plenty of casting opportunities for like just a walking two legs and a head with a detachable hand crab. That definitely sounds like it would give some room for creative freedom. We realized that we could imprint our faces into our blanket. Ah. Oh. I was like, yes, that's that's how all blankets work. Oh, you have a high definition blanket. Lovely. Man, if you can find the store where you bought these and do this to all of them, I will pay you good money. A blood red acaline lake in Kenya. I have to look this up because I I, I would I thought that would. Whoa, I flipped to the image just as I was about to look it up. That's cool. OK, OP is referring to alkaline here, at least as far as my initial Google could tell. Not hating on the spelling, just making sure I wasn't about to miss something. That's so pretty. I would go there if it didn't involve like travel. Travel is awful. This boardwalk in my neighborhood. You have a boardwalk in your... Oh, that's not That's not quite what I'm used to when I hear the term boardwalk, but all right. That's pretty. Why is that creepy? This just looks like a cool path through, through like, marshlands. Oh, I like this. This is cool. Bozo the Clown visits the Oompa Loompas on the Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory set... 1971. The Oompa Loompas were already right on the edge of being creepy. I think they just barely skirted that edge. But you had Bozo in the middle of there, and good lord almighty, we got ourselves some nightmare fuel. None of these are leaves. Oh, no. Nope, nope. Kill it. Kill them all. Kill it. Nope. 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 Jesus. Why is it so big? My grandpa with the Easter Bunny in 1950. Oh, no. Oh, God. Oh. You look, your grandpa looks concerned. Rightly so. Hello, I am Peter Cottontail. Yeah, this thing hopped into our living room and, and gave us baskets of candy. What? <laughs> this thing just, I don't want the candy. I don't, I don't care. I collect playing cards. That's actually kind of cool. My girlfriend has a collection too. Aw, uh, aw, uh, mm, 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 nope, 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 nope. God, we had a bunch of bugs and then we, oh God, no, no, thank you. I can't, I can't dentists. That's awful. A cave with huge natural crystals. That threw me off for like a good three seconds. That orange guy in the dead center looked like some sort of tiny medical device. Like, I don't know, like some sort of high vis thing with like a little uh, inhaler or something. And I was trying to scale everything in the picture mentally to that until I noticed the other guy crawling through and my brain just rebooted. I don't see this being hardly, oddly terrifying though. Like that's, that's just really cool. Like that's hard to comprehend on a scale level, but that, to me, that that's not scary. Someone in the cult sub found these cards around North London. Heavenly friends, Ashtar Sharon, Lord Jesus Christ. Beam with love. P -p 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 <laughs> Sorry. Caution! Saurians from hells want to chip you. Mmm, chips. I like chips. <sighs> and things soon to enslave you. The solution? Petition! We will not be chipped. Oh, but I want chips. Opening of the heart. Elimination of inner evils. Like, literally? Look, the rest of your... Like, you have no idea what kerning is, do you? Like, you just you just went straight to the slider for text spacing and just had a seizure on it. Pass it on, others. Space exclamation point. I'm not usually this much of a grammar nut, but I will edit the hell out of this. Stop RFID. <laughs> Would you stop things from uh, emitting electromagnetic frequencies? Just stop it. <laughs> oh my God, there's more. 
Ah, this is amazing. We love you and help you out. Legolas in space holding the starfish or something. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, that dude is commander of the Grand Cosmic Squadron. That's very descriptive. Just like, <laughs> which, which, which squadron are you part of? Ah, the Grand Cosmic one. Ah, no, no designation or part of any specific battalion or no, no, no. Okay, all right. Photos of creatures from a deep sea expedition in a Pacific mining zone. We, we, we are mining the bottom of the Pacific? That's gorgeous. Oh, that's so pretty. Why, why is this terrifying? Dude, that's just like a little tiny tree living on a rock. Just like having a good time. That That's just a, a misrendered texture uh, with spikes, but still looks really cool. Like imagine a little tiny floating sun just, you know, swam past you. You'd be so excited. Well, I would be so excited. And th th this is just a slab of bacon with a sweater over its head. Uh, I'm not really sure how this works. <laughs> That, that, that's that's the first one that I've just been confounded by. Like, I don't know what part of this is supposed to do what. Like, it's just, like how do you eat? That's just a giant undersea bug. We have bugs all over the place. They're terrifying. Oh, okay. That one's... Yeah, I could do without the hand. Oh, oh the hand's weird. What in the... <laughs> oh, okay. That looks like it's manifold, like all one thing, but it also kind of looks like a vortex of bees. That's cool. That jellyfish thing. What is... <laughs> The Ziploc bag from space filled with teeth. I guess that sounds terrifying when you describe it. <laughs> I, don't know, I love animals. Was looking up Munch, uh, Munch the, the, from the dolls. Oh, so this was on purpose. And found the creepiest eBay listing ever. 1899 rare fabric doll, $1,975. Dude, I would pay you to remove that from my house. This door at my son's audiologist office. Oh, the, the big soundproofy ones. Oh, oh, that, that one just has a dude. I think it's gonna be a Rorschachy one, isn't it? I kind of see the skull with like a giant floppy hat. I don't know, this one isn't that bad, in my humble opinion. I'm sorry. On our afternoon stroll, the wheels freak me out. The wheels on the van? It's the cargo van, yeah. What? I Okay, I'm sorry. I'm staring at the wheels because I'm trying to figure out what the, the wheels are are saying to you that are freaking out because I'm more distracted by whatever this projection thing is in the door. I'm so confused with this. I'm sorry. I just freaking locked up. A fire NATO. Okay, if you see a tornado on fire, we're not going to place that in oddly terrifying. That is just terrifying. We, we don't need the oddly. That's... I feel like it's a fairly normal thing to be terrified of a tornado that's on fire. This stuffed animal I found at a local Goodwill. <laughs> oh my god, there's a book called Crap Taxidermy. You have to go find it. It's amazing and it's full of this. Just people that thought they could do taxidermy and couldn't. And I hate taxidermy, but it's really funny. This doll has been on this property for at least 30 years. Everyone's scared to remove it. So it's just hanging out. Look, he's still trying to fix the conduit cover, all right? Just let him work. Damn, y'all are so impatient. The look and the eyes of this plushy heart. That that just seems like, a, like an over-enthusiastic teacher or librarian. Like one of those people that expects you to actually care about the homework or something. Also, isn't it a pinata? Because, I mean, you could... Oh, wait, no, it's plushy. It looks like a pinata, I'm sorry. Man, it's just my brain being like, yes, <laughs> smack that with a bat. Victorian homes in San Francisco being moved via horsepower 1908. I love that this was still a thing and is still like very rarely a thing, but it, it happened all the way up until like the 1990s at least, where you just pick up a whole home and move it. From what I know of the safety standards at the time, this is terrifying. Phantom statues at Vezio's castle in Italy. Okay, that's really cool looking. It's very Nazgul. Uh, I was hoping for actual like phantoms that were like, sometimes they were there and sometimes they weren't. And sometimes you'd look over and they're just like having a smoke break. Or like eating McDonald's, but like frozen. It's like the angels from Doctor Who, but like way more chill and Italian. So like, I don't know, spaghetti burger. Miss America from the Japanese TV show Battle Fever J. Um, okay. <laughs> Look, I know there's a negative stereotype of America worldwide, and uh, most of it's deserved. Although, some of you still need to learn how to fry food. So, like, you know, check yourself a little. But how how is this representing America? Like, we haven't, we're not even bald eagling it. We're, we're just ping pong eyeballs and scarfing it out today. 
Look, you know what? This is probably better than what they could have done, so I'm gonna take it. A wax figure of Michael Jackson. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, okay. It's actually, it's not that bad. He looks like he just got told what the bill was at the restaurant and it was way higher than what he expected. Random old lady that asked me for gas because her car was on empty. Her husband was in the passenger seat and also the only other car at the station at 11 p.m. Uh, mm, kind of creepy, yeah. But also I've been to enough rural areas to know that some people just like don't do social and if they think that you might be at all a threat to their car or whatever or anything else or they just don't trust you or they still just want something for you they'll just stare at you peanut vendor wearing a suit made of peanuts late 1800s to early 1900s okay this is way more dapper than i was expecting <laughs> can you imagine the noise oh the noise would be so freaking satisfying oh my god face pie in a storage room what that's not even like a, a cute face or anything. And it's in a store. What in the gut? What are you people doing? The portrait has horror movie vibes, Master Wayne. It does, but also so does every JCPenney's photo from that era. Like I think their idea of good lighting was just all of the lights at all times to eliminate all shadows. And then this generic sort of textured background for everything. And everyone just ends up looking like they're not having a good time because they're not. They're in a JCPenney. And they're doing this because mom wanted them to do, which they are. And none of it's organic and it's stupid. Take candid shots with your families. Jesus Christ. Marionette puppets at a children's theme park. I actually find this one really... <laughs> this looks like this mixture of whatever this is, it personally offended this baker and they're like, oh, you are gonna freaking get to the correct consistency. The second one just looks surprised like he just woke up was like, oh my God, I'm out of work. And the third one's putting drugs, putting drugs in all the food. Yep. This statue outside a dentist office. There's no, oh my God, what in the hell? <laughs> oh, this looks like it would be a creepy like ice cream place in the middle of nowhere. At least there's no creepy teeth. This is a, this is a horror dungeon. Please, please just accept that and try to minimize it as much as possible. These two failed taxidermy, yes! Failed, oh my God. <laughs> that one might be in crap taxidermy, I'm not sure. Uh, the second one I've not seen before, but I, I think I've seen that first one. Like I said, you gotta check out Crab Taxidermy. So, this is a real place somewhere in Texas. Baby head sandwich. <laughs> not big enough! <laughs> oh, yes, uh, where do I put the rest of it? Empty Times Square. Yeah, during the pandemic, there were a few times when it was really, really quiet. So I went by Times Square like a few times just to be like, I need to experience this. And it's it's pretty wild. And I've been in Times Square at four o'clock in the morning. And if you're downtown in that area, you, you, you just need to keep moving. And I knew Times Square would be safe. Times Square was not empty. There's plenty of police, plenty of people. Lundy the Trader. Look, I don't want to know if Lundy the Trader is still inside that thing. I do see a blown up glove, so I feel slightly better. Better about this question mark? Creepy wolf in, I'm sorry. Oops. There are too many vowels. What? Wait, 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 wait. Spruik Jess Wonderland Kids Park, Netherlands. Yeah, it, whenever you take mascots and you take them into real life, you are creating evil nightmare fuel, especially the more detail you add, the worse it's gonna be. Don't do it. Don't do it. I found this during a walk in the woods. And it has found you. Now, this is probably somebody just practicing. Free paint? I hope. Hope's a good thing to have. It'll be all you have left once this thing removes your organs. 